What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today, we're gonna get into Google Ads. Had a great question come in from a viewer and a listener about excluding locations in Google Ads. He's a little bit frustrated with the fact that he's got some website traffic coming in from his Google Ads that are not in the geographic area that he's specifically targeting. So I'm gonna show you how to do this properly. It's a little bit tricky. So let's dive in right now. So you're gonna go into your Google Ads campaign. Um, You can go into your campaign settings or I'm just gonna show you right now on my screen. And for those of you listening only, I will do my best job to describe this to you uh, from a new campaign creation perspective. So I've gone into Google Ads, I'm creating a new campaign. You can see I've named it. Uh, I've selected the goal of website traffic. I'm gonna do search network only, which is what I typically recommend, uh, unless you're in specific scenarios. We'll talk about that on another data-driven daily tip, but right now we're focused on location targeting. So you go to the locations, and initially you're just gonna see this, um, locations to target. And I've got the United States. Typically, that's what it'll default to. Um, it'll default to whatever country you're in. And um, if you expand location options, this is where it's critical. You're going to see location options. You're going to expand it by clicking the little uh, carrot, we call it, the down carrot arrow. And you'll see now you can target people in or who show interest in your targeted locations. This is what's recommended. Um, this is what is going to be default chosen. One issue is that you probably, if you're getting website traffic that's not relevant to you and it's coming in from other countries or other cities or states even that you're not wanting to target, um, or provinces or regions or whatever, if you're overseas and you don't say states, um, click people in your targeted locations. Uh, that will ensure that only people who are in your targeted locations will see your ad. So that's step number one. Step number two is more critical, and that's where you properly exclude locations from even seeing the ad. So this is the critical step here. What you're going to do, and this is not really as intuitive as it probably should be, is start to type into the advanced search an area. I'm going to use Malaysia, the country, as an example. So when you start to type in an area that you're getting web traffic from, from your ads that you do not want traffic from, start to type it into the advanced search under locations, uh, select locations to target. This is why it's not intuitive and because you want to exclude it, not target it. But as you can see over on the right hand side, it says target, exclude, and nearby. So we're gonna exclude Malaysia. Now we're saying we do not want to We do not want anyone in the country of Malaysia to see our ad, regardless of anything. And if you do not do this, there's a chance that you might get web traffic uh, from your ad from Malaysia. There's a chance that people in Malaysia would see your ad and click through to your website, having no intent of doing any kind of business with you if you do not exclude this location. So then what you want to do is make sure you check exclude people in your excluded locations and save your campaign settings. This, my friends, has been your data-driven daily tip. For more, if you want to listen, you can get our Alexa skill at datadrivendaily.com. You can go to dataoveropinions.com for all of the resources on our data-driven daily tips, including write-ups that might even be more helpful to you than these videos. Last but not least, you can always email me at paul at datadriven.design. And I will not be promoting this too often, but we have had some viewers and listeners email in and say, how can I support the Data Driven Daily Tip? And so if you want to support the Data Driven Daily Tip monetarily, if you feel like it's providing that much value to your life and to your work life and you as a professional, you can go to support.datadrivendaily.com and you can now support the Data Driven Daily Tip. I'm Paul Hickey. Have a great day.